Hey guys, it's Jake here with eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Duha wheeled storage container and gun case. It's going to be available in the configuration you see here, which is just the box, but it's also going to be available with a mounting bracket to safely secure it to your truck or SUV. This is going to be a great storage solution for your trucks and your larger SUVs. You'll have many different compartments up here on the top level, and on the bottom you'll have an optional gun storage for your guns. You could also remove the optional gun racks if you have larger tools that you'd like to store on the bottom level. The gun rack is going to be able to fit four shotguns or four rifles with scopes or a combination of both. Included are going to be eight straps to be able to strap down your gun so they're safe and secure while you're traveling. You want to attach it in a diagonal pattern like we have here safely secure it so that your gun can't go anywhere. The foam padding is going to ensure a nice safe ride for your guns and it's not going to scratch it while you're driving down the road. The center support rod is designed to keep the sides of our toolbox when loaded from bowing out. To be able to get your guns in and out of the case you may have to remove it. It's nice and easy to remove and then you can remove your guns. Now you'll see once we remove our guns that our dividers are still going to be in here. Now, if you like the divided look, if you want to keep your tools or anything like that separate, if you have some straps you'd like to throw in the bottom here, you can leave it as is or you can take them out. To remove our center divider, we just need to simply lift off, set it to the side, and now we can remove the gun rack. The easiest way I found is to take one piece out at a time. Otherwise, it's a little too stiff to remove. So remove our two plastic pieces and then our foam piece. Take those out and you can see how much larger of a space we're going to have here in the bottom. Up here on the top you'll see we have these two separate removable bins. To be able to put various smaller items, you could fit a box of shotgun shells or bullets or anything like that in them if you have your shotguns in the lower compartment. And it also has these removable tabs that do come included. There will be eight per side so you can remove them or add them for whatever specific use you might have. The box is going to be made out of a heavy duty polyurethane plastic which is going to be nice and rust resistant and heavy duty enough to where it's going to hold up for you over time. The rubber seal goes all the way around the perimeter of the inside of the lid to seal down to the bottom portion to ensure a watertight seal so you don't have to worry about any contents of the box getting wet. On the front of our case we have these metal latches. They're going to, when latched into place, hold a tight seal on our lid. And what I like about this is they not only included latches to clamp down so that it does have that tight seal but they included three because of the length of the box. All three of our latches are going to have these lock holes so you can throw a lock through there. You can lock one, two or three of the latches to make sure the contents of the box are safe. Now what I really like about the top the way Duha designed this is that every compartment on the top we will have four cup holders and slots to put different, maybe you have your keys or a pocket knife like we have here. You can sit it there and it's not going to fall off the toolbox and risk losing it. So what's nice about it is that every single compartment on the top is going to have a channel in which water can get out. So none of these compartments are going to hold water. So we can see that our soda bottle here is nice and secure on the top and it's not going to fall off. The box is going to have three handles for carrying capability, one on the top and two on the sides. They're going to be spring loaded so that they're always going to stay down and they'll have a nice rubber handle so you can get a good grip on it even when your hands are wet. The box itself weighs about 35 pounds so it's not too bad to lift by yourself by the center handle if it's empty. It's also going to have a weight capacity of 75 pounds. It is going to have wheels on both sides, so no matter what configuration you have it in, you're going to be able to lift up on one side, like I am here, and wheel it into place. This included pull handle is going to make it really convenient if your box does slide to the front of your truck, or if that's where you put it, instead of having to reach all the way to your handle, you do have this pull string and you can pull the box to you and then grab the handle and pull it out. 
a couple of measurements on the box so you guys know what you're getting. Lengthwise, it's going to be about 53 inches long by 15 inches wide and 15 inches tall. For the inside dimensions, it's going to be 52 inches long by 14 inches wide and 11 inches tall. Some of our customers have asked if this would fit with a fifth wheel. It will fit in front of or behind a fifth wheel if you need a storage box to store some of those items when you're going on your camping trips. You should have no problems fitting this on any of the sides if you're hauling a gooseneck. If you're wanting a more permanent or stable solution for your box while it's in the bed of your truck, there is a mounting bracket available and we do have it here at eTrailer. Well guys, with all that being said, that's gonna do it for a look at the Duha wheeled storage container and gun case.